Jorge Gonzalez, 52, from Gonzalez, Colombia, sleeps in a small mattress on the floor of the Sculpture Resource Center in Tucson, Arizona. He uses his lifelong skills as a welder to pursue his dream of becoming a sculptor. In our Latin American countries, we would see the landscapes here in the Roadrunner and Coyote cartoons. So today, I am making that for real. The sculpture is going to be called the Hour of Truth. They meet to see what will happen. Back in Colombia, Gonzalez left behind the welding shop he inherited from his father, along with his wife and two teenage sons. Thank God I found the place that I wanted, a welding shop with other artists that helped me because I had never made art. When looking for a job at the bicycle shop next door in 2008, Gonzalez stumbled upon this center where he met two local artists, Joshua Woodhall and Ernest Espinoza. Joshua is a painter and he paints and paints and paints, it doesn't matter where. He paints on paper, he paints on a piece of wood, he paints on the wall, he paints on the floor. All he does all day is paint and draw. My name is Joshua Woodhall, uh, I'm a painter, I'm 34. Woodhall was one of the local artists who inspired Gonzalez when he first arrived. I was uh, hit by a car when I was 11, and everything was erased from me, like talking, walking, swallowing. But I could still draw, just like before the accident. Woodhall has devoted his entire life to art. He spends all day at the center working on becoming a famous artist. The ultimate goal is for some 13-year-old kid to look at a book that I'm in and be like, oh my god, I have to paint. And if I do that, then I've like succeeded. Ernesto Espinoza, 29, is like a younger brother to Woodhall. He's one of the first members of, of this center. He studies engineering at the University of Arizona. No, I, I, I'm very mechanically inclined. I can, I've made mechanical solutions when I was a little kid that astounded adults, and up to this day I'm just studying mechanisms and actions. In the middle of the backyard metal shop, an eight-foot black iron sculpture shadows everything around it. Ernie created the sculpture three years ago and named it after his mother, Sue. Uh, it's a mechanical hammer with a big cam and spring action, made from railroad track. Yes, I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for Jorge, because one day he was like, in Colombia, I can hack some railroad track. No problem. 45 minutes. Over the years, the three artists have come across many who attempted to find them. They resist any notion that this special place they love and share can be labeled. It, 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 it's very difficult to try to like define this place if you do like, you will begin to destroy it. <laughs>